Everyone, we're live. We are live. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Remy. Oh, hi. Good morning. Do they know what good morning means at this time? It means time to snuggle. Time to snuggle. Loads and snuggles. Um, I wanted to change the lens real quick. Um, but thank you for joining us. Thank you, thank you. Um, we're doing another fundraising live stream. Um, I this morning I went through all of the replays and I inserted ads about every minute for the first two hours. Um, and thereafter it goes to like every two minutes and every three minutes. Um, Sorry, we got groceries yesterday, so the counters are still reflecting the, the grocery haul. Guys, because you guys can't, you guys gotta quiet down. Spy hush. Um, so for those who um maybe weren't um it's Saturday, so we reach we reach a bit of a different audience on the weekends. Um, according to our analytics, um, you know, and YouTube is only you know partially reliable. Um, but we reach um, a broader audience on Saturdays, and so I wanted to start the stream a little bit earlier. Um, for those who don't know, Amelia, um, one of our puppies who was born last summer, she um, became very ill last Sunday, um, and she's over in Germany. She's not here in the States. She became very ill um, last Sunday. Um, she was very symptomatic of bloat, and... Um, she wasn't eating, having trouble breathing. They took her to the emergency vet and she was diagnosed with a, um, a potentially fatal birth defect um, that they're attempting to repair. Um, she's had a lot of post-surgical complications. Um, she, but despite that, she is hanging in there and she is fighting so hard that... Um, I mean, I'm not surprised because Amelia is, she was born for this family. They are, um, they're like, they're a spiritual family. They're, um, Amelia has always been part of their family. It was just a matter of waiting for her to be born. Um, that's how close they are. It's just, they, even when they came to get her, just seeing her go to them, um, like she didn't even look back at us. We all were hanging out in the driveway before they left and we just kept talking, talking, talking. And Amelia was, she didn't even look back at us. So we went to go say goodbye to her and she didn't even, she barely even looked at us. It was like, she didn't want us to take her back into the house. And so we joked all day that Amelia, um, was afraid they were going to bring her back. Um, but that's just to, to kind of give you an idea of just how special Amelia is. Um, she is an ESA, she's an emotional support animal for their 13 year old daughter. Um, and um, we always recommend if, if your family is able to do it to go that step further and um, 
get your dog certified as a psychiatric service dog um, because then they get full protections um, as like a seeing eye dog. And so um, their daughter was working very hard to um, to get her trained for that psychiatric service dog um, recognition. And um, I mean, Amelia does everything with them. She um, we like to joke because they came over on a boat to get her and in order for them to get a ticket for Amelia on the ride back, they had to get her this like super big package where she had her own private butler and he would walk her, take her out to potty. He basically did everything that she needed. And then some, she got little puppy massages. It was, it was crazy how, um, how awesome the, the boat did to take care of her. Um, but so I'm going to read today's update and we have a better update today. So that's good news. But um, remember that each day there's going to be a new update and it's just as easy to get a negative update as it is a positive update. And so um, it's, it's very promising to see the positive news, but also like, like Chris said, um, just very heavy caution. Um, uh, um, there's something else I was gonna say and I lost it, but let me go ahead and read the current update to you guys. Um, all right, so today was mainly good news. All right, so I'm just, Quoting Chris. So everything I say, pretend Chris is saying this to you. <laughs> Yesterday morning, they pulled 200 mils of air out of her lung. They didn't have to pull any at all since uh, since then until this morning when they did just to check what was in there. So what he's saying is they didn't, there wasn't a need to get it out. They only did it just to see how she was doing. And so that's good news in and of itself. Or it's a good sign. Um, it was 85 mils. So when they did check it, it was 85 of air. He cautioned that 85 is still 85 too much, but it is a lot better than when they were pulling air out every half an hour. And that's a huge, that is a, um, that is a really big improvement. Um, I don't want to say anything to Chris. I mean, he might see it, but um, that's a really big turnaround from them having to, I assume that she had a chest tube, um, he called it ventilating. I, I know he's trying to translate from German to English, and so it's, it's, things get lost a little bit in translation. Um, but when you have a hole in your lungs, they'll put a chest tube in right in the side um, to drain whatever um, is leaking through that hole, whether it's air, blood, whatever, fluid. Um, and uh, so they are the, them going from having to pull air every half an hour to not having to do it at all. And then just checking on it, there was only 85 in there. Um, Cause that 85 could have been there that whole time and they're not still leaking. Um, and so I'm curious, like when they check it again, how it looks then, because you know, they would pull 200 out 30 minutes later, pull out another 200, 30 minutes later, pull out another 200. And so if they didn't need to pull out over several hours and then they did, but they did go in to pull it out and then there was only 85. And so, you know, that 85 may have come out, um, you know, last night and then it didn't continue to come out because maybe perhaps the hole is healing. And um, so not as much air is leaking. And so that's kind of what I'm hoping for. I think that the, the vet on that front, um, I think the vet is being very conservative with Chris. Um, I think that they don't want to give them any false hope or give them more hope than, um, than they're comfortable with. Um, but my, my personal knowledge as a nurse um, with people, those are the, that's kind of like the takeaway that I get from that is um, even though 85 is still 85 too much, that 85 over that period of time could be very good news. Um, and he goes on to say they had to pull the central vein access 
um, a central line is, um, so she has, I believe, up here, which is like right in the park. Um, but a central line is when they put a, an IV, instead of putting it right here in one of your veins, they go right to your artery. And so you can do, some people have central lines um, in their elbow right here, and um, it's just running up. It'll just like run up and then it'll go in. But a central line is still a central line. A central line goes directly to the arterial blood in the heart. Um, and so it'll be, it'll be done because they can very easily give medications, um, especially with outpatient um, patients, like cancer patients. It'll, they'll give them a port. If you're about a patient having a port, that's usually what that's about. Um, and they can access it more easily. Um, but they get their medications, and I'm sure in Amelia's case, she's getting nutrition. Um, through that central line. Um, so he goes on to say that was the device that they put in her neck in order to give her food and medicine easier, as well as draw blood easier when needed. It didn't look good, and before it got worse, or she scratched it out, they wanted to remove it the right way. Um, so what, they, what he's saying is they took out the central line. Um, she was getting bothered by it, and so they didn't want her ripping it out, and so they went ahead and removed it. Um, now, that also could be another good sign that she is perking up, that she... Um, when anybody is ill, little things like that don't really bother them. Um, they'll just, just snooze through it, um, or they don't have the energy to try to get it off. Um, and so, at least from the nursing perspective, in my experience, we always, um, when patients who are critically ill would start doing things like removing their IVs, um, because those are really uncomfortable, especially after a few days. Um, we always, you know, it was annoying, but we always took it as a good sign that the patients were getting better. And so that's just another piece I just wanted to add to there, but I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to give Chris any extra hope or I don't want to, I'm sharing that with you guys. That's for your, for your information. Um, anyway, they offered her some food this morning and she actually ate a bite or two and kept it down. It was a couple of hours after that, the vet called and she still hadn't thrown it up. This is amazing news, and they will continue offering her little amounts of food all throughout the day. And so um, she's not on a ventilator anymore, and I think that, that was another um, loss in translation thing. She was ventilated um, during her surgery, and because of the, the translation piece, um, when they told us that she was on a vent um, yesterday, I think, I think what he was talking about was the chest tube for the hole. Um, I don't think that, I don't know if there's a very good translation, um, yeah. for, for what he was trying to explain. And so, um, but the, um, she's not on a ventilator that's breathing for her. Um, the tube she had was a chest tube, um, to help drain that air that we were talking about. Um, the vet also said that they were going to take a break from ultrasounds, blood work tests, etc., so that she could have a chance to rest and heal. The ultrasound and blood work will have to be done tomorrow because she's still in very critical condition. But since things are looking better today, he wants to let her rest unless something changes and he can't anymore. <clears throat> he closed with a reminder that she's still in critical condition. She is very underweight, so only eating a bite or two is not good enough, and she is still losing air from her lungs, even if it is less than usual. Things continue on this trend, and she will be able to leave the ICU sometime next week. But things were looking better on <clears throat> Monday after the surgery, too, until the first emergency update came. Keep those fingers crossed and keep the good vibes coming her way. They are working. So um, that that's his update on Amelia. Thank you to everybody who has donated to their GoFundMe. Um, they are, the GoFundMe has reached $4,400. So... Thank you guys. Um, I think almost all of that is from you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, it means the world to them. Uh, just knowing, you know, they can take a call from the vet. And if the vet says, I'd really like to order this other test. Um, I remember when Paris had her emergency surgery and when we got phone calls saying, oh, we need to do another this or that, it's like, Oh, that money that like it adds up, you know, it's going to be $450. Uh, and so having this GoFundMe that all of you guys are helping with and the fundraising live streams um, just helps them when they, you know, they're going to do everything they can to save her life. And um, 
when the vet says that they need to do another test. To have um, some help with these guns is, is really helpful when you have things. Remy! Stop. Um, and so for the live streams, hold on just a second. <laughs> streams of <laughs> um, what we've done Sit. is we are um, we have inserted very aggressive ads this morning I um, on the replays for yesterday the day before um, I inserted ads for every minute um, I was watching it on replay and I had so I started with like two four six eight minutes for ad placements and it was dropping an ad like once every no. ten minutes um, so I changed it to every one minute. Um, we don't really like place a lot of ads, and so um, we're having to kind of catch play a little bit of catch up because um, I know that they don't they won't put an ad out for every ad slot that we we place. Um, and I'm not really familiar with how much. They will do, and it's they have their own algorithm. They determine what their best um, placement is going to be to try to keep viewers engaged. Um, and so, I'm just kind of tinkering with it a little bit. So I apologize if you all sudden get a ton of ads and then you don't see any at all. Um, I'm I'm kind of messing with the settings. Um, and today on this live stream. We have it set so that an ad gets dropped every, or this, one of those ad slots is every six minutes, um, starting from the time that you sign on um, to the live stream. And um, you are not guaranteed an ad every six minutes, um, but uh, it'll usually take about a third of the audience for an ad. Um, but everybody kind of comes on at different times, so it'll all be kind of staggered. Um, but um, if you're leaving for work and you don't mind letting your TV run or your computer run, Saturday. we can, well, people work on Saturdays. Um, in fact, the people who work on Saturdays usually aren't having to leave at 8, 7, 8 in the morning. Um, but turn us on in a bedroom or if you're doing housework, doing the dishes, um, turn on your bedroom TV and let it run. You don't have to look at us. You can mute it and we won't be offended. Um, if you have dogs of your own, um, some of our families will turn it on just to keep their pets company. Um, my only recommendation with that is to have the volume on just very low because if you have no volume, then they won't hear them. And uh, I think a lot of times the dogs need to be able to hear them to, to understand. Um, but if the dogs start getting crazy and start barking, you also don't want your house to sound like you've got 12 dogs in there. So um, it might scare your, your pets. So um, I'd recommend turning the volume down quite a bit, um, but having it on low so that um, your pets can hear. But um, all the ad revenue generated um, during these, these live streams, during this period of time, um, for as long as Amelia stays in the, in the ICU or she's overnight, we are going to be donating that money to her GoFundMe. Um, and, uh, 
And so we'll show you guys. We did really, really well for yesterday. Or uh, let me back up. We did incredibly well um, with all of you guys, all of your help um, setting up a lot your the the live streams on your devices. Wow. Um, it's so much easier just put Mocha somewhere where all the other dogs aren't. Just put Mocha where Piper is. Um, and so, uh, if you have a YouTube premium, do not worry because we will still get part of the YouTube premium subscription fee. Um, the more ads that our stream is putting out, the um, bigger the percentage of the YouTube premium subscription that they will um, send to our channel. So, um, you just being here helps a lot. If you are unable to donate anything to either GoFundMe, um, we get it. We totally understand the economy is in the toilet right now. And um, at least as far as I know, nobody's pay has really like increased to um, help cushion that. So we totally get it if you don't have anything right now to donate. And that's why um, we thought that this would be a really good idea um, for the live streams because you guys can just pop on and just be here with help raise money. So, um, and let us know too, if there's not very many ads being generated during the live, um, because we can tinker with it. Um, in fact, let me insert an ad before I forget. I really apologize too, because Yesterday, I came to insert an ad at like 10 o'clock at night, and then um, I forgot to swap the tabs and it ended up freezing the live stream. So if you were on last night when, uh, when the live stream froze toward the end of the night, I really apologize. It was late. It was late, but there were still like 26 people on. That's about how many we have on now. I know that we're generating revenue. That's my point is we're trying to raise money. Hi there, Tiffany. Hi, Beth. How are you? Oh, Amelia's family is here. Yay, Amelia's family. Hi, Beth. Oh, I got you, Beth. Beth and Maggie. How are you, Maggie? Hi, Sue. Uh, Chris. You uh, sent me a message. I'm sorry, I haven't responded. Oh, hang on. They said they will be watching live stream later because. Uh, it's coming over. So they're not on right now, I don't think. Oh. You could just, I would just respond on WhatsApp. Hi there, Mike and Susie. Thank you for joining us. Oh my goodness, Beth and Maggie woke up to snow. She does not like. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lay Down. Amanda, Amber, Karen. Thank you guys for joining us. Michelle and Vicky. Happy. Thank you for joining us, Letty. Oh, it's so nice to see all you guys here. Paula in Sunshine. Thank you for continuing to pray. Um. Sue had an idea too, and I was gonna try to get some ideas from you guys. Sue had an idea of um, creating a t-shirt in a workshop for Amelia. Um, and so if you guys had any ideas, I thought that was a really good one. A special, um, a special one of a kind, one, you know, one-off shirt. Yeah, an, an Amelia shirt for, um, but I'm not, I, I need some ideas. I gotta get the creative juices flowing. Um, but I thought that was a brilliant idea. Um, what we, what Drew and I are doing um, to determine like the, what we're gonna donate from, um, on behalf of Red Barn Cavaliers YouTube channel members or channel viewers, I should say. Um, so there's, we are doing these live streams that will have a lot of ads that we're trying to raise a lot of money with as much as we can, um, and. Those um, particular streams, we were, we're just going to take the dates. So, like, um, we started running those streams, I think, three days ago. And so, um, 
when we are looking at our revenue analytics, it has everything all together on that day. So like um, the live streamer ran that day, plus any views from videos or um, old live streams on replay, usually about like 70% of a one day's revenue is from that particular live stream running that day. And so um, for a little bit of simplification and also to um, help cushion the donation amount that we're giving them, um, rather than going through and looking at March 7th and subtracting, you know, the other videos that were, you know, got 16 cents here and a dollar there. We're just gonna take that day. So like the, um, I think the first day that we were doing it was the sixth or the seventh. And so through however long where we do this for, whether it's seven days, 10 days, and we'll just put all that revenue together. So um, membership revenue, if you become a channel member, um, that revenue um, will go to them. Um, if you're viewing videos um, elsewhere on our channel, if you've ever wanted to go back through our library and um, watch old videos from when puppies are little, or if you wanted to watch labor and delivery videos, those are always good. Um, they're time stamped was too. Amelia was podcast? No, she was born first. Um, and so when we started streaming, she was already born. Um, but I think it's because we were also trying to get the Atticans kind of on the phone. Oh, right. Yeah, so I think that they were... Um, they got video and stuff. But, um, hi, Bob. We have the live on, so you know. Okay. Um, and so any purchases made through the merch shop, um, any super chats, any, any, any revenue generated um, is going to be for Amelia. So we're using the live streams, the daily live streams, to really try to crank up that revenue. Um, but that's, you know, that's to kind of help the total pot. Um, and, um, but if you are just perusing our channel and you're watching something else, um, don't worry because all that revenue that's generated is still going to go to Amelia's fund. Um, so don't feel like you have to stay on the live stream in particular. Um, so I want to mention that today, uh, that it's just all going to be all going into that pot. Um, and we're, we plan to do this all through uh, Amelia's stay. Um, if that should if that should be enough, if we feel like we're struggling a little bit, then we will continue doing. We'll just keep it up until um, we get to a, a, a better goal. Um, but oh, hey, oh sorry, Nika. Um. I wanted to show you guys the watch hours from yesterday. So right now I have the dot. It says March 7th. It says 551. That is so that you guys can see um, the day before. So that dot with the 551 is the day before. And then this upper one is yesterday's with 705. So we got another 150 watch hours. So thank you all. Um, and then, oh, down here, you can kind of see why, let me go last seven days. Down here. So this is the last, showing you the last seven days. This is why we want to just donate from like across the channel because you can see that um, we have, we call it the wonky stream. We have a stream from like two years ago that does, it performs better than like our current live streams. It's ranking really high in search and it's daily views. I think it, it's, it's daily views are about 150 views per day. Yeah. And the average view duration is about 25 minutes. And so... Um, yeah, we call it the wonky stream. We call it the wonky stream. It's, it's just out of left field. It just like took off out of nowhere. I think it's got like 37,000 total views. Um, but it's watch hours are what's even crazier. To even become like a YouTube partner, you have to have 4,000 watch hours for a little bit of perspective. 
Um, the wonky stream has 15,228 hours. And so you can see that. Um, and so that's why um, we're gonna like tweak this a little bit um, because people get on the wonky stream and they'll watch it for three hours and um, uh, on replay, the revenue is usually higher than on live. Um, and so that's why we're just gonna include everything that is watched across the channel. Um, because if anybody gets distracted by another stream, that's fine. It'll just still it'll also go to Amelia. Um, and so you can even see when we look at the watch hours for the last seven days, we've got 2,500 watch hours, but number three stream is the wonky stream. <laughs> is the wonky stream at 425 hours, which is crazy because um, for just for a regular live stream is usually about 150. <laughs> so that's why we call it the wonky stream, but. Um, Some people call those videos the evergreen videos. Yeah, or evergreen. I call it wonky. Vienna, stop. Um, Uh, we are um, um, what we gonna say? What else do we want to add, sweetie? Thank you, everybody. Again, thank just you. Thank, yes. you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your continued support. And, uh, um, signing on and staying on. Keep cranking out those positive vibes for Amelia. Yeah. Oh, it's We now have the screen sharing option. Oh man, we've only got 25 viewers. We've got to, we've got to step it up. So much. We're not is doing it, enough. Is it a bad way of asking? No. Hi there, Roseanne. Is Hi, Kristen. Does everything look good on your guys' end? What are you doing over there, Robin? Oh, I found the. Oh, it's out of stock. What? No. Oh. That color T-shirt. Oh. oh, teal for. Dang it! Color seafoam. Yeah, that's Amelia's color. All right. All right, we'll find a different one. Ah. You know, what? I don't want that one anyways. What are you working at? Are you upset too that the t-shirt is out of stock? Here we go. Can you search by color? No. There. Oh yeah, that's it. That needs to be a little darker though. I mean, it's what we'll use. That's that's. I mean, we'll use that one, but it's not white color. Dang it! We'll check another t-shirt. I think the is it in the, in the left hand side? Can you do by color? Oh, I know. All right. I thought there was a. Oh yeah, there you go. Your place. Nothing. No What's products it? found. That's uh, the phone. There you go. Blue. That's the one I wanted. Next level. Next level. That's the name of the color. No, it's the name of the t-shirt. Oh. 
It says that this is partially out of stock. Oh, like some sizes are out of stock. Does anybody have a catchy phrase for a t-shirt for Amelia? Um, we found a perfect seafoam color for her t-shirt. Sue had the awesome idea of designing a t-shirt um, for Amelia. And so um, I'm trying to think of what it should say. Because if an order is put in today, it'll probably be about two weeks. Um, and so we'll put a picture of Amelia on there. And I think I even know which one we'll use. Oh yeah, I think it, that's perfect. Um, Drew, do you have any ideas? What's that? T-shirt, what to say? I think that we should just get a good picture of Amelia, do the seafoam color, and kind of have a... Um, just wanted there to be like a catchy... Yeah, I know, I'm trying to think of... Uh, um, uh, something Amelia, something for Amelia. Check in the trusty Google. Yeah, a word that starts with A. <laughs> we can be a little edgy. Who wants to be edgy with us? If you are shocked by what I said, you haven't paid attention to who I am. For $5.99. So I Googled for like, you know, inspiring, you know, phrases. And so first I got that one. Now I have, once in a while, someone amazing comes along and here I am. <laughs> it could just be like the narcissist t-shirt. Ooh, I kind of like, for the back, here's this slogan that's kind of, it would be fitting. It says, you must be patient and persistent. Even if you meet difficulties and setbacks, you must overcome them. Uh, I'm Googling uplifting fundraiser slogan. Aww. Uh, Ooh, chat GPT yeah. never fails.
Million loves for Amelia. Chat GPT is really corny so far. What? I said Chat GPT is really corny so far. Nice. I love corny. Aw, I like this one. So at first I'll give you we've got three so far. First two are pretty corny. The third one I think is, might be good. First one is brave paws, strong hearts, together we fight, we thrive. That's not so bad now that I read that loud. Okay, next one is paws of resilience, courageously embracing every wag of life. And then the next one was positively unstable, one bark, one fight, one victory. Uh, I like the first part of that. You don't like the... The yeah. whole one bark, one bite. I'm, yeah, that's I'm, the. I'm kind of. One I don't bark, like that. one bite. I like, I like the first part, though. So you don't like one bark? I don't like the whole one bark, one bite. One bark, one fight. One bark, one fight. Oh, I see. It's one bark, one fight, one victory. Oh. Um, positively unstoppable. I like the. Yeah. But it's boring, just that. It, I know. Um, I like the one bark, one fight, one victory, because it's like one bark, like all she has is one bark. And then one fight, because it's like the biggest fight of her life. I, yeah, and then I, mean, I, I like the one bark, one fight, but I, don't, I like it just as that. Oh, like one, one oh I fight. see. Okay, so positively unstoppable. Should we keep that? Positively unstoppable, one bark, one fight. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I like that. All right, got it. <laughs> Oh, we got a bunch of suggestions in here. Oh. Amelia's Army, Amelia's Pack. Oh, I do like Amelia's Army. Um, and then Lisa says, is that a microwave Drew's getting from? <laughs> a blue eyed warrior princess. Ooh. It is a, a microwave. Amelia's Army. I do like Amelia's Army. Oh, and that would be perfect. Um, one bark, one fight. Yeah. We could do positively unstoppable. Amelia's one bark, army. one fight, and then something, something Amelia's army. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, uh, positive. What was it? Positively unstoppable. Amelia's army. One bark, one fight. Ooh, bingo! Got it. Yeah. Yay. Um, oh, and for anybody who wasn't on when we came and shared the news or if you were at work, um, we saw the ad revenue for the live stream for the previous day, and um, it was really, really, really awesome. It doesn't sound as great, but I promise that the like live it's, revenue is only a small portion of what the total revenue for it will be. Um, but it was eleven dollars and forty eight cents, which is huge. It's only it's usually like between a dollar forty and maybe three dollars um, on that first day, especially. Um, but it was eleven dollars and forty eight cents, 
and 88% of the ad revenue came from the skippable video ads, which means, because um, usually around 60%. So that means that a lot of that ad revenue came from you guys watching ads. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, it, it, it adds up, and so that, um, that stream is, let me go back to it. That's yesterday's. And hopefully yesterday's is even higher because we had almost 100 more watch hours. That's at $11.48. And then it had about another 60 hours after that. This is weird. Um, but I just wanted to share you, with you guys that metric. Um, and then we go to the revenue tab. So here's the revenue tab and you can see where our fundraising started. So this is excluding like memberships and um, other, other forms of revenue. This is purely just um, ads. And so you can see this one right here. Oh, that first part that was, um, I believe day one. And so we had that higher day and then up here. And so this is where, so it's, I think 1972. And so even though the other stream that um, it came out to 11.48, we were just donating the whole day. We're not going to like penny pinch and take out little dollar here, dollar there. Um, for every day, we're going to donate that amount of, of revenue. And um, the live stream with all the ads we're pushing are just to help really bulk that up. And you can even see too, you can see YouTube premium. So if you have a premium account, don't worry, you being here is still helpful. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. <laughs> this is your donut over here. Um, you can eat it. I tried it with Bella. What's wrong with it? Um, I just didn't really care for it. Actually, yeah. I know. Why is this not working? Well, I'm not going to be able to design any t shirt with how the computer is running. Right. Dad, the computer is not running in such oh, a way sorry, that I'm able to do the t shirt. So I'm Yes. Just to say. No. Oh, I guess I would. So was that your only idea, Drew? Was oh, that yeah. your only idea? Company, the our our merch shop is not working really at all right now. I'll figure it out, Drew. I'm 
No, they just look at the other six. No, that's only if you that's only if you have a test. Not not on your bottom. Oh, still eggs. Nice. Only if you have a pet. When they're in nature, they need to reproduce, but they're in captivity, they don't need to reproduce. And the deformation and stuff, nature will take its course, you don't like it. But when they're in captivity, it's hard. Well, I know why you would need a crash but that's because they're in captivity. These aren't ones that you Oh, it's from certain snail. Apple snail. Because I heard something about it. Hey, can you grab a bowl of cacao, please? Yeah. 
No, Keep 
Are you done with the bread? No. Hey. What's not nice? Ah! Hey there, bud. Yeah. 
Oh, sure. Yeah. Well, you might have the better angle. You got the better angle. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was like the perfect amount of time. Oh, there. We'll do it. There we go. You're done. Oh, 
run that state of that. Sie glauben, ich spiele. Sie glauben, ich spiele. Ich muss mich nicht mehr so gut machen. Nein. Ich muss mich nicht mehr so gut machen. 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 It's all going on journey. Get the land. They can reduce their their army by whole bunch of money. They they do need both for a game. Besides the name Germany, that don't count. I put it in there for 30 seconds. That's way too long. Oh my god! You blow my word. One, like, blew up. By the one that went bang. How many did you put? Oh my god, dude, 30 seconds for six six pieces? <laughs> oh my lord. Where did the other piece go? Yeah. 
uh, what's the country that I declared war on America? Uh, well, wait, what are you talking about? So, America sent like fighter jets over on Iran? Yeah. So, uh, well, it's, it's, uh, I think what happened was that um, Hamas. You know, oh, you're talking. Are you talking about the Houthi? The yeah. Houthi the, yeah, the guys that are bombing the the shipping vessel vessels out. Yeah. The, one of our ones that died. Three soldiers. Three soldiers. No, we had, we had three, three soldiers. Three soldiers at a, at a listening station. I was like, you know what? Excuse me, making me angry. Yeah. My ice cream yeah, they ruined my ice cream. My ice cream time. Oh, yeah. 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 Dang. Red, white, and blue indeed. Red, white, and boom. You know the uh, Wild Robot books that I made yeah. a couple years ago? Uh-huh. You must have made a movie. Oh, really? Oh, that's cool. So, okay. So, what's in it? Hope that it turns out good. Yeah. That'd be cool. Okay. Who's making the movie? It works. So, yeah. Dream works. Okay. I Hey, Yeah. Okay. Yeah.
is going to be working a little bit better. Goes out of Chris's way. I'm going to drop an ad real quick. Thanks, guys. Our average view duration is at 1323. That was another metric I wanted to share with you guys. Um, so our average... Uh, Our average um, view duration is really like pretty steady. You can see like right real close. You can see the average view duration over 90 days in this graph. And so it's usually right around, so that bottom line is eight minutes, 40 seconds, it's right about nine minutes. Um, and so yesterday was, or the day before yesterday was our first big day of fundraising. And the average view duration came up to 1710, which is awesome. Um, because I mean, how many times do you click on a video and then close out of it? Um, because it's not quite what you thought you wanted or, you know, it, you usually click on several before you pick one. Um, I know I do. Um, and so it takes a lot to build that average up. And so basically, you know, the longer that um, folks are watching, um, more ads will be shown and um, the more money will raise for Amelia. So yesterday it was, we brought it from 17 minutes to 25 minutes and 56 seconds. And it's unfortunate too, because it, that number would be a lot higher if I hadn't screwed up the live stream toward the end of the night. Um, it ran for about an hour um, while it was just frozen. So I really apologize for that. Hey John, thank you for stopping by. Thanks for being here. And to anybody who's joined since um, I was in here last, thank you for joining us. Hi there, Shelly. I don't think I said hi to you. Thanks for being here. Karen, um, oh, I did say hi to you. I did say hi to you. I remember you. I don't think I said hi to Anna. Good morning, Anna. Oh, I see the t-shirt idea came from all of you guys. Oh, awesome. Okay, so Ellen, any ideas you guys have? Um, let me know. Our average view duration, let's check our average view duration. Right now it's 13.26. So for an hour and 31 minutes, it's pretty good. We're usually at like 10-ish minutes, maybe nine minutes right now and it usually gets it builds for like the first couple hours and then it goes down after that how is rio rio is fantastic um i brought him in um 
when I, I put the girls outside uh, the last couple of days. I forgot to do it yesterday, but um, I brought him in here and he was having so much fun. And I even could, with, you know, Vienna's not heat, so I could bring him in and have Vienna in here. So he has somebody to play with. But um, he had so much fun coming back and being in here for a little bit. And so um, our girls are still in heat. Um, when you see Missy licking somebody, that's because they're in heat. She won't, she, when she like lays down and is licking their, their nether regions, um, she's cleaning, um, she's cleaning their um, in heat fluids. Put it that way. Um, but I think Remy is. Remy's out of heat. Robin is. So Robin is on the downward. Um, uh, but Mocha, we also have Mocha who is in heat. Um, She's also coming down too. So once these girls come down, everybody will be um, safe to be around and we'll be able to bring the boys in some more. Um, and so I'm really looking forward to that because Rio and Macchiato are so much fun. And they're such good dogs. They um, love to come and play with the girls and um, they're just, they're really great dogs. And so I really like to be able to have them in here and so that's why I was bringing them in. Um, and maybe I'll get today. We'll, um, we will put some of the girls, we'll put the in heat girls outside and um, we'll keep Vienna in here. Maybe Pom Pom. Um, we can always keep Paris because she's spayed. Um, I'll check Daisy, but I think she's still, she's still in heat. Um, I think yeah, right. Missy is out of heat, but I mean, and we'll we'll check her. Just I like to give it, you know, just some time. If we are completely skipping a heat cycle, especially um, because at the end of their heat cycle is when they are most fertile. And so if we um, if we are just a little bit too close to this, just a little too close for my comfort. Am I allowed to have two? I love pickles. They taste different. They taste like they were more seasoned. If that makes sense, like more. Yeah. Like more stuff was put in the in the um in the pickle eating broth mm -hmm. or whatever it is. Yeah. No, me too. I can't wait to see Rio's puppies. Um, Rio is going to be paired with Myra. Um, Robin. Um, and he could be paired with Missy too. Missy and Bri um, Spike have such cute puppies and they almost always have a couple of puppies with perfect thumbprints. And so I can only imagine if, because Rhea was just a Paris and Spike together. And so if Missy and Spike have really cute puppies, we're just adding Paris's genes in there to that mixture. And so Paris is beautiful. And so um, I would love to see Missy and Rio puppies too. Um, I I don't know. I don't really like fizzy stuff, so it's fizzy. I probably would just eat it. Well, I'm just asking because you're trying. I don't want to waste it. Well, you're welcome to have one and try it. And if it's any good, then we'll see if anybody else wants to try it. And if it does, then it's not a big deal. Now you know you don't like it, and you won't continue to waste them so you don't like it. So it's worth trying. Yeah, opening up one up and trying it. Have a soda after this? What? No, no, oh, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't count. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of like the carbonated water is kind of how I. I don't really. But Rio, I'm picturing Missy's puppies, um, the dash of Paris. <laughs> That'd be so cute. 
It yeah. tastes like cough syrup. Ew, that sounds awful. Except not as strong. Oh. Like the the taste is originally good, but then it that taste is. You have to talk about how I'm gonna kind of miss. Oh, is it that the, apple? The Lucy and Spike puppies. A hole. Is it just I that? That will be part of the problem. It has to be cold. It's just weird. What stinks is that it's zero sugar. That's I, I think it would be good if it had like regular sugar in it. Yeah, it so didn't remember, taste like um, cough syrup. Um, I don't know. We were talking about how we see and Spike always had such cute puppies, mm -hmm. and so I was thinking about that, thinking like picture of puppies, yeah. mixing a little bit of Paris in there, uh -huh. and oh. really looking forward to pairing Rio oh, and Missy. Rio and Missy, yeah. yeah. Ooh. That. He has an excellent pairing. I'm having one of the cottage cheese. I think that would be uh, a great first one for him. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, the yeah. seasoned vet. The scooter. Yeah, the scooter mama. Yeah, the scooter. 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 Yeah, the if you want. I'm not having the rest of that soda thing that That's fine. Yeah, I think I think it's not very I good. think Myra and Rio would have absolutely gorgeous puppies. Um and you can kind of picture uh her previous letter last fall. Um you can with picture that with a little bit of Paris mixed in. Um because she had a spike letter with, with her first letter. Um, was with Spike, and so, um, Pine and, um, uh, Charlotte, and, oh, there's another Pine color. Um, the boy with the blue collar, I can look at him, I can't remember his name. Um, but, Picture a little bit of Paris added into that. Um, it's crazy just how much dogs look like their closest ancestors. Um, Pom's puppies will look a lot, um, take a lot of characteristics from Paris. And as you guys have seen, like with Audrey, or, um, Audrey, um, Minnie from Paris's litter looks like a lot like Pom Pom. Um, it's Crazy, just how much they they pull from their own mom, their own dad, and then aunts and uncles. They're very close relatives. <clears throat> you can almost see an overlay. Hey, sweet. We need to find a spray bottle to get your parking back. Yeah, that's what we can do. You're being very good, Vienna. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, everybody, for your wonderful idea. Was I going to show you a metric? This one for I was going to show you guys an analytic. What's up? Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Philip. Philip gets the fancy dessert. Where is it? Different deal. No. Oh, Rio. Even including that giant jump is nine minutes fifty nine seconds, and so that's seventeen minutes that you guys um, hung on for um, was a huge was nearly double, and then 
the increase to 25 was another huge jump. So thank you so much because in fact, let me insert an ad. Hi, Diana, how are you? Hi, Mike and Susie, thank you for joining. Hi, Jam. Oh, I will have to be sure to say thank you to Jackie. <clears throat> that was a really good idea. <clears throat> um, Beth, I was actually talking about, um, we were talking about um, the kitty stream. Or you average view duration has gone up to 1435. We're at 1435 for the average view duration on this stream. Um, I think the last time I checked it, we're at, we were at 13 something. We're like 1335. So we've added a minute. Um, so, um, what did I want to say? I, this morning I added more ads to the replays. Um, you can watch any of the replays. If, so anything you watch on the channel, the funds are going to be so anything that you watch on our channel the um revenue is going to be going to amelia's gofundme um during this time we, i mean we'll make it be very clear every day that um we're donating funds and so um if anybody wants to keep track um day one was Uh, there's, there's um, something on the outside of it. Day one was, I'm not sure if it was the 6th or the 7th, it was today. Seven. Okay. Um. So for the seventh, we have $19.72 in revenue. Um, and then today, so that the seventh was the day that we had that first hour long live stream where we were talking about what was going on with Amelia, talking about our fundraiser we were doing, um, sharing her GoFundMe. And then um, I screwed it up during Happy Hound headlines, it got blurry and I had to restart it. And so there's two streams from that day. Um, and that day, um, let me try that, right? Yeah, that day was $19.72. Uh, and so that's day one um, for revenue. And that, um, a typical single day of revenue, that, and that includes like live streams, any videos we've posted, um, old or new. Um, sometimes we'll have, like we talked about the lucky live stream earlier, um, the live stream from a couple of years ago that gets more views than um, the live streams we do in a single day, um, like the current daily live stream. Um, but um, uh, I lost my train of thought. Um, the typical daily, like on a, a, any given day, the revenue that we generate um, through the live streams and videos, um, anything we do on YouTube, uh, memberships is anywhere between like seven dollars, five dollars, and um, ten to eleven dollars a day. To give you like a little bit of idea, that's why we Drew and I call it the um, dog toy fund, um, and so. The day one was nineteen dollars and seventy-two cents, and so you can see even that day that we didn't have a whole lot more watch hours. Um, I did increase the ads that day, and we started the fundraiser that day, but um, we hadn't really we hadn't really reached the whole Red Barn Army yet, 
And so um, the watch hours were not as high that day. And so I'm excited to see what we're going to generate for um, what we generated yesterday, what that is going to, to look like. And so if anybody wants to keep track, $19 and 72 cents was day one. Um, and then day two, we doubled our um, watch hours. So fingers crossed that we're raising a lot of money for Amelia. I'm so excited. I really hope this is going to help them. Sorry, I just wanted to see if there's any other fun metrics to show you guys. Oh, the watch hours. So that day for, uh, that day for that $19.72, we had 551 total watch hours on the whole channel. Um, so then, the revenue that we'll post for today is for 705 watch hours. So it's a big, big jump there. So Ooh, 705, watch 705 watch hours Dang. yesterday. Just yesterday? Just yesterday. Oh my God. On the one live stream or was that like the, over the, the, the whole channel? The whole channel. That's still a lot. It's still huge. You got to see the graph. It's huge. 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 It's huge watch hours. 1,500 watch hours and all of that. Oh my god. Oh, she got that up with that. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's gross. Oh. I can't believe the, the support that you guys are showing for Amelia. You guys are so generous and kind. Um, we really appreciate all of your guys's willingness to do this. I know it can be a pain. Um, it means a lot to us because um, we wanted to do we wanted to do something more and this is a way that we can really rally the community and um, do something in, in a way that is more achievable for everybody to help contribute. That's a team effort um, and we can all do it together. That's what I love about it. I love that it's kind of it kind of helps encompass what we are, what we you know stand for. When you know when you consider that we raise emotional support animals, um, we want to help. We want things to be better. We want to make the world a better place. Um, I know that sounds really cliche, but um, the Atkins family—that's what they do. That is what they do every single day of their lives. That is what they do, um, like in work and in their spare time. Um, and when they have things happening to them, they are still helping other people. And so, um, the least, like, like the least, this is the least we could do. But that's also something that they really, really deserve um, more than uh, than anyone. I feel. Um, and like they would never ask for it. That's the other thing is they, they're so humble and um, they, they would not ask for other people to give up um, money that they know that other people need themselves, you know, it's a rough economy. Um, you know, they're very understanding of that. And so, um, you know, they're just so kind and so considerate of everybody else. And that's why, um, you know, it breaks my heart that while they're so worried about Amelia, these are very, very expensive vet bills, you know, staying in the, you know, ICU with all of these, um, you know, IV drips and this monitoring all these machines. Um, it's, it's not cheap. <laughs> it is not cheap. 
and um, I can't imagine, you know, not having, um, you know, like if a child got sick and not having insurance, um, you know, they have insurance for Amelia, but she's not reached the point where they can really use it yet. Um, so um, I think they said that insurance will reimburse them five hundred dollars. So um, that's why I just thank you guys for helping to rally around the Atkins family because, as you can see on on our smaller day where we were still building up and getting everyone's attention, um, um, we still brought in nineteen dollars and seventy two cents. So if we keep going and each day we do better, then I'm hoping we can really get that number higher. So um, way to go. Thank you guys. And um, when the um, revenue posts for yesterday, I'll share that with you guys too, like I did yesterday. And then I'll share it again tomorrow at the beginning of the live stream. I'm sorry. I apologize. I forgot to share that with you this morning, what our total revenue was for the whole day. Um, I'm going to check the chat actually for t shirt ideas in case somebody is any. Oh, I'm going to drop an ad just so you guys know. Jan, thank you for reminding. I know we didn't, um, and um, we will probably, this will be a good time to uh, discuss um, what you went through with Minnie because we didn't really have a chance. We were so busy with the 14 puppies, that, the three litters, that um, we didn't really have a chance to have a live stream where we actually sat down and talked about um, um, what happened with Minnie. And so, um, this might be a good time when we're doing these fundraising live streams, um, where we can, um, sit down and talk about it. And when you, when you, we know that you can be in the chat and Drew and I will be able to be available to sit down. Um, it'll be something that we can talk about, you know, when our ads are running nonstop so that, uh, we can keep you guys entertained, um, during this marathon of ours. Um, but no, it would be a good time, I think, to talk about it, and it's also a very inspiring story, I think. Um, I know. <laughs> I know it is a very inspiring story, and um, you guys were given a very, very grim prognosis, I remember. And, you know, as time goes on, it, it can start, start going back into you know, your typical routine, and it's easy to forget. It's easy to forget just how close that you come to losing them. Um, and so it would, I think it would be good for um, the Atkins to hear from you guys, from you and John, too. Hi there, wildlife memories, wildlife and nature. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for that very kind message for Amelia and her family. Aw, thank you for having us on your, 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 your different accounts. You're so sweet. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Hold on. Come on, dogs. Come on. Mocha. I agree, Beth. Um, it, when Jan had her, um, that happened with Minnie with the grape, um, Drew and I, we were like, oh my gosh, why have we been getting grapes for Bella? Like, we, we, we knew that 
grapes were bad for dogs. But, like, it had just always been a thing that we always gave our kids grapes. It was just, like, part of the routine, and it was just part of yeah, it. was just so that. ingrained in our head as being, like, a food that we, it was almost, like, separate from being grapes, the poison to dogs. And so, like, for some reason, we just, it didn't cross our minds. And when that happened with Minnie, we were like, oh, my gosh, why have we been getting grapes all this time? Um, and so we just don't even, we don't get grapes anymore at all because, like, the risk is too great. If a grape falls um, between the fridge and the counter onto the floor, the dogs are going to get it. The risk, risk reward. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. The 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 benefit, the risk to benefit ratio is just not <laughs> not favorable at all. And um, gosh, I just I can't believe that we even we had grapes as much as we did because Bella loves them, and so um, we just always had them. Um, and we've just always, but we've always, it's always just been part of our routine like before we got the dogs and so that's why like it just it didn't click for some reason because it was just so common and like we made sure to cut them in half so that nobody choked um like we were all following all the safety rules and but it's embarrassing to admit that um that it just for some reason it didn't click but um we have no no grapes anymore um we don't do grapes at all so we don't want to run the chance. Um, so many, you could have saved lives. So I'm sure that you have. So know that Jan and John, that your, your pain and suffering that you guys went through is at least not totally in vain. Um, but, uh, oh yeah. Um, are you have but you if um you want to let me know like some days and times that you're available jam that um we know that you'll be in the chat um i, I can i'll i'll send you a text message here in a little bit um just to kind of like touch base and um you can kind of tell me what you what you're comfortable sharing with and that sort of stuff um and what you uh, well I'll, I'll text you about it but i'll touch base with you and we can talk about times that you'll be in the chat so that you can answer questions um but the grape thing it's um i feel like that that one is dangerous just because there are so many young parents like me and drew that have just always seen grapes as healthy, you know, and good for kids. Um, you know, as long as you cut them off, um, that when, when you get a dog, you don't, um, you know, you do all the other, you know, basic, they're like not basic, but you do the other, um, you know, typical dog safety, you know, the dog proofing of the house. Um, and, it just isn't, it wasn't even, it didn't even click the grapes. You know, when I'd be at the grocery store, I just would think, you know, Bella likes them. But then, um, <clears throat> so many, I'm sure you have saved lives. That would be awful to have had a grape drop. Yeah. I'm terrible. Grapes are like, it's like an antifreeze in disguise. I mean, it doesn't do the same thing, but it's so poisonous. And antifreeze is already really tasty, but grapes are like dressed up as a fun treat, you know, that tastes good. That's what makes grapes scary. You know, dogs see us eat them, and so they think that it's going to be something yummy. Makes them curious. Yeah. You guys are so good. You're such good doggies. Oh. 
Myra, Myra's belly is getting big. She is like completely filled out. All the growing she does is gonna be oh funny. Oh man, Dad, they got into sticker burrs. I will. Oh. I'll show you guys my wrist belly. There it is. It's finally visible on camera. That's your belly. It gets bigger throughout the day too, so you'll get to see it get bigger. And it's getting round around here too. She's getting wider. See. And you know, like from when you watch her from the side or you watch her walk around, she she looks like she's very full in her torso. Like you can tell that she's accommodating something in there. I wish we had an ultrasound machine so bad. I can't wait to get an ultrasound machine. That's gonna be the first thing we splurge on when we can splurge next. Oh, I forgot about my coffee. Dang it. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. I've just been so uh, focused on the, the live yeah, stream stuff yeah. on YouTube. Do you feel like you're. Well, it got me up at about 7 10 this morning, and so I came out here and started working on <laughs> inserting ads for Do you about feel three like you're one two of those, hours. One of those. Uh, Yes, uh, fundraisers. <laughs> oh, no, not quite. I want to know. I want to know who downvoted us yesterday. I took that personally. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> Why would you downvote um, a fundraiser for anybody, really? Oh, dear. My time is precious. Somebody must be dead, or and we haven't had a downvote in a while, so it like really sticks out like a sore thumb. So everything else says hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent, and then ninety eight point nine. So I wanted to see if um, fourth wall was going to work for me. Table so that we can all sit. All right. I want to do this shirt. Oh, and you know what? We can do two of these shirts, and then this this heavyweight T-shirt that this dude is modeling can just be our men's version. So it's got this really awesome seafoam green. I love it. It's perfect. Like it's the very same color as the font we use. Oh. And so we'll make a men's one. We'll make a men's and a women's. Well, dang it, it says we can't add artwork on this non customizable. What? For some reason, it's just not letting me work on that one. Let me try a different one. Oh, 
Um, that was the last of her. No, don't eat that. Of uh, Myra's vitamins. Oh, yeah. no, we have more. There's a cup that is on my side of the bed that I had over there before we were giving it each day in our food. I was giving it to her okay. um, when she was fertile. Yes. Hi, Remy. What are you doing in here alone? Oh, Ooh, the Bell and Canvas tri blend short sleeve t shirt. That's the one that you designed. What? That one's awesome. The tri blend t shirt of yours. Oh, right. and turquoise. Word, 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 word. Oh, it's aqua. I wouldn't really call it turquoise. You're being really uh, picky about the color. It's just, I really, really like this other one that it is, I'm going to stop. This one's really good, though. Oh, wait, Tahiti Blue, and it's partially out of stock. But look, at it, it's perfect. Oh, it loaded. What? It loaded. It loaded. Great. Look how perfect that picture is. Yeah, that does, that does look really good. Dad, I can't add font to this t-shirt. Which t-shirts did we add font to? Well, it wasn't font that you were adding. You were adding pictures that had our, our logo. Our, but I've, our typed, I've, I've typed stuff onto shirts. Huh? I've typed things onto shirts. All right, but I can actually, I can work with that. So... I can work with that because I'll just I'll I'll do some editing with that image that I'm gonna use anyway. I'll do the text as like an overlay of the image.
that we got this furniture five years ago this week. Oh, wow, this week? Yeah, because we, we went shopping for it uh, this spring break that uh, we went over here after Matthew passed away. Oh, and yeah. Maybe we'll get to do that. If you have not already, please like the stream. Um, we have 42 people on right now. I imagine we've got some streams running without um, any attendee. <laughs> um, but if you have not liked the stream, please give it a like. Um, there was a gentleman who, Martin, I believe, Martin um, something. Um, he was a moderator for another puppy live stream um, channel, and he said that. Um, when viewers like it during while it's actively live that it helps um it helps the where it kind of spits out in the algorithm um after it's live thank you thank you thank you thank you guys thank you for the likes thank you yeah we got we, we got three thrown at us thank you guys Okay, it was one bark, one fight. What else did we say? Uh, one bark, one fight. What else did we say? Uh, uh, Amelia's army. One bark, one fight. Amelia's army. Uh, and the positively unstoppable. Oh, yeah, that's right. Positive. Should I just blue drop that and just have no. Amelia's army, one bark, one fight? Oh, like have it, if we had it in a circle, like. So let me show it. you, because I'm putting this on. Um, the image, I have it as a like, text overlay. Oh man, I kind of like positively on stuff. It's okay, let me show you where I have it. Oh, okay. It could be Amelia's army, one part. Yeah, I like but that. Positively unstoppable. I was, for some reason, I was thinking. I could put it down here. I was thinking of a. Like a circle thing, like I'm um, trying to use the original image. Oh, I see, I see. So that we have the best quality possible, because right. you know, once it's been, I I meant like, um, like on the shoulder, like. Um, oh, oh, oh! I see. Okay. Um. Here. Okay, actually, yeah. You know what? Um, that's actually a good idea. Like on one shoulder, one bark. On one shoulder, one bite. Yeah. Yeah. 
one bark, one plate. Okay, so this, the picture will just be have Amelia's army on it then. Yeah, and then put oh, and you know, positively like, unstoppable on the back. On, on the back, yeah. Yay! Right. Oh yes, this is gonna be awesome. Yeah. Yay! One bark, one plate, positively unstoppable on the back, yeah, and then have her picture on the front of Amelia's army. What's that? Yeah, Amelia's army or, or Megan. Proceeds from t shirts. See, this is why we need all wonderful viewers here. You guys can help us with this stuff. Because we wouldn't have done this without you guys. Thank you so much for the idea. Amelia's army. One. <laughs> the Amelia's army kind of looks like a crown. What's that? Amelia's army kind of looks like a crown. Yeah, nice. Hi, Myra. That's sweetheart. Who's a good girl? Oh, my goodness. You just flopped over that big old belly. Thank you. 
Turn back here. Thanks for coming up. So cleaned up the dining room table basically. Yeah, thank you for doing that, Bill. Now we can all sit comfortably <laughs> when we have dinner. Uh, yeah, that's out of good. What's that? What are you doing next for? Out uh, of the mirror in the bathroom. Oh. Uh, All like it's stuff. just so typical of yeah. Amelia, you know. She makes friends everywhere she goes. Yes, indeed. Makes a terrible dark dog. All right, Dad, so we're going to have to probably reduce how many, how much stuff we're doing because it's making this t-shirt cost like $35 just to make. And we're going to have to make it like $60 just for the Atkins to get a tiny bit. So it, like to have both shoulders and the front with uh, photos in the font, um, it comes to $28.15. So how about we just do the one bark, one fight, we really use Armory on front, front, and the one bark, one fight, positively unstoppable, all on back. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. I think it's the sleeves for some reason are really expensive. It's $6. Each? Each. Oh my God. Yeah, just putting on the and something on the front is like a dollar. That's nuts. What is it to put something on the back? Um, let me. I'll probably just throw an image up there and we can find out. Um, it's six dollars. It brings it the cost of twenty two twenty, but that's more manageable to make a nice T shirt for Amelia. Yeah. Because we're gonna have a couple of options because this is just one version that has the the sea foam color. And this is like a men's fit, yeah, I think. Want to have the, the, the color. That's yeah. Good. And it goes, I'm doing the font in her color too, and so it's contrasting really nicely. I do have a couple of other color options for set so that people can, um, if like for, for some reason, if they feel really like self conscious and turquoise, then they can pick a more modest color. It's not so bright and in your face because it's it, pretty oh, bright. So we can't do something where we, uh, no, it's going to be set at turquoise. Okay. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be set on this one. Oh, okay.
Oh, I just clicked back to the tab and saw that you guys threw us a three, uh, thumbs up. Thank you so much. It really, really helps the video and the algorithm. And you guys know I never ask anybody to like or subscribe or anything of that nature. Um, I feel like if you, if you guys, if you're inclined to like the video, you may so, you may do so as you please. I don't want to take up your time talking, you know, um, talking about doing all that stuff. Um, but right now we are asking for all of that extra support so that we can reach as far and wide as possible. Um, I'm almost done with this t-shirt. First one, we're gonna make a couple versions of it so that um, each style that comes in this color. Um, we're going to make, because this one is like a heavyweight men's, and so that's probably it. Um, I know for, at least myself, I don't really care about that type, so. I'm gonna make um, some that are friendlier for bigger builds, some that are friendlier for smaller builds. Um, maybe we'll eat two children. Oh, this one's good. Okay. We've got it. You want to see my picture? Oh man! And that's on the back. Yeah, that's the back. On the front. These are the other options. Oh my God, that's awesome. Her beautiful blue eyes. Yeah, that. Her pink bed is so perfect for this color. Yeah, that is. Can I lower it a little bit? The back that looks, looks good. yeah, back looks good. Um, that looks kind of high. Just maybe a touch down. You don't, you don't think it should be lowered much? I, I was gonna say, like just a very little bit. Like if you're gonna lower it, just make okay, it a very so little bit. It's a, a, because if it's just a little bit, then I'm just gonna leave it instead yeah. of risking screwing it up. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, so what do you think we should price it at? What's the the ba the base price is twenty two twenty. It's what it's gonna cost us to have made it. So anything over that will be proceeds. Uh, is there any sort of uh, number that we can play on? Birthday, like, like from birth weight. Birth weight, yes. Um, like yeah, let's think about that. Um, anybody have any good number ideas? So, the t shirt we made here, let me, I'll show you a picture of it. The t shirt, the mock up of the Amelia t shirt.
taking pictures, so bear with me. Pictures of the computer screen, did you, no less. Did you share screen? Um, I can. I don't it says ads will run shortly for some viewers. I got, I just got the 30 second warning that ads are gonna run for some viewers, just so you guys know. Um, so real quick, the front looks like this. It's a turquoise shirt, but there's other color options like a dark navy and a maroon. Um, and it says Amelia's Army on the front. And then there is a photo on the back that then says one bark, one bite. Let me show you. Wait, one bark, one bite? Well, I'm sorry, one bark, one fight. Some people are going to ads though. And these are photos of a computer screen, so that's also not very helpful. Not exactly the best photos. And so then here's the back. It says one bark, one fight. And then the bottom says positively unstoppable. That's the back. And so, and, but there, we're also gonna um, do, uh, I'm gonna do some other t-shirts that'll be less expensive. And I, we've already got the images, we just throw the images on. And then if we, if we can work the price down even further, then we, we can do that. Can you hear me? Yeah, I heard it. Um. Um, June twentieth, six sixty two dollars is way too much. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was her birth weight? Um, they have all the paperwork. Like if she was like, um. Oh, we have the we have the the um. The little booklet that we were writing all the weights down in. Uh, I'm sure it's floating around in our bedroom. Okay, so for now, oh, and that's really pretty on that maroon. Oh, wow. Look how pretty this is. Dang, that does look good on the maroon. In the back. We can't, we can't lock it in as turquoise, though. No, so it will come up as turquoise, and um, in the, they suggest selling it at $34. Um, that would give a, a proceeds of $11.80. Yeah. Should we yeah. just do like 35 for this one? And well, we've got other shirts to look at yeah. to put the pictures on. Um, but I will set it to be the, for the turquoise to be the, be the main ball. color. I know how to do that. So yeah, I, was, I was wondering if we could like basically make it so that you could only buy a turquoise one in I don't want I don't want it to be like that so that just in case there's people who would like if it means that somebody will still buy it right yeah. if it's in another color I want to give them that option
Okay, so our first t-shirt um, for Amelia is now live on our merch shop. Um, I'm going to make a couple more. So this one is... Um, They have models that are wearing it, and so you can kind of see the fit. Um, I wish they said like what size the model is and all that. Um, but this one is a nice men's fit. 
it's um, a super soft one. They have this line that's called super soft and it's really, really, really cozy. Um, I have, I think all but one of the shirts that I have are by the, the have the, are the super soft line and they are some of the comfiest t-shirts that I have. Um, and so we priced it at $35, about 13 of that will be proceeds. Um, it costs us 12, or I'm sorry, $22 to make. Um, and so $12.80 will be, um, will be the proceeds to that one. And so I'm going to, um, I've got the images that I need. And so I'm going to um, look for a, like a more feminine fit. Let's see if we can find something that maybe is a little less expensive so that we can try to have the proceeds be a little bit more. And this one is always good. Oh, perfect. All right, I found the perfect women's one. I'll show you guys the preview photos of the women's one. All right, so here is the front of the women's. And so, and you can also, I mean, this will fit men too, but um, in fact, I will find the shirts that I have that are this very same t-shirt just with our logo on it so that you guys can see. Um, it just has a more fitted cut to it. Um, and the size that I have is small. Like the t-shirts that you've seen me walking around in with uh, Red Barn Kettler's logo, those are all smalls. Um, that's this newer t-shirt that I'm showing you. Um, the first one that I already created um, has a, a boxier cut. It's um, it's still the super soft. It's like, it's still the really comfortable material, but the cut isn't as, um, it doesn't come in as much on the waist. We were really surprised when we got it. Um, Drew was kind of like, uh, that was when he designed his own and we have it. it, it you could, there's one on there that says designed by Drew and that's the one he made when, uh, um, uh, oh, thank you, Mike and Susie. Thank you for your order. Thank you for your donation. Mike and, or to, um, uh, to the Atkins. Thank you so much, Mike and Susie, for your order. Mike and Susie ordered a couple t-shirts for from Kiwi's family. Thank you guys. Um, this other one that I'm um, making is gonna be a little less expensive, luckily, because it's 
Um, the base price to it is about $6 less. So more of it is gonna go to the Adkins. I found another color, uh, or another, I found this other, this is the one that, you know, the, that dark, deep red, the one that I have, uh -huh. it's that cut, that one that I call women's, they don't, they have like a right. skinny male model modeling it. Right, right. It's really a women's cut, I know, would you order that in a large for yourself? Oh, not. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's um, very feminine. But, so it doesn't have a really good, um, um, what's it, a really good, uh, Best it's got is this Heather Mint. And this is what I designed it on. Oops. Oh. Which I thought went pretty close. That's pretty close. It's really pretty. Um, and then, but some of these other colors are also really pretty. Oh, wow. Yeah. So if the people wanted to choose. Yeah. yeah that's not a bad idea. I like that. I like that one better than that one. Especially, oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I really like it. It's called Kelly, that color. Yeah. Hmm. And this, it, what, it's nice because this picture is dark on the back, and uh -huh. so it really helps the font stand out. Yeah, it does. That's nice. That's nice. I like that one a lot. Yeah, me too. And also, it's $6 cheaper, so we can price yeah. it a little lower. So nice. um, that way, if more money goes to the Atkins, and yeah. um, nice. people can get a t shirt for a little bit less. I dig it. Oh, I hope you guys like these t-shirts. I'm so excited. Oh, I see you guys are talking about something for teeth. I saw this, um, that powdered stuff. Um, I saw on Instagram, it was one of those Instagram reels. And they were like rubbing the powder on the dog's teeth and it just completely wiped away all of the grime and ick. And um, is that kind of like what you use? Um, is that Cindy? I'm sorry, Sue. Um, but is that kind of what you use, Sue? Is that like along the lines of what it does? I'm really curious about how that works because um, you guys have seen me use the little tool on their teeth but it would be nice to just kind of be able to keep up with it with something much easier. Jan, you're so funny about Minnie. Um, I'm gonna drop some ads. More than one ingestion is using the primary RLL. I'm so confused at why that would be happening. Thank you. 
Make this one. All right, the second shirt is now live. If you want to check it out, it's the I labeled it as the women's cut. Um, and the setting is you can change the color. So if you want to hover around the different colors, there are different colors. Um, and they are different between the two shirts as well. So um I have it set so that when you open up the the listing, um the T-shirt and the color selection is defaulted to Amelia's um, turquoise color that she's always had since birth. Um, it's the family's color. It's very meaningful to them. And so we have it defaulted to the closest we could find to their turquoise. And then I have a couple of other versions 
or I should say a couple other shades that were options, um, the closest ones to it, and then expanded kind of outward from there. Um, and then I have um, a couple of like maroonish colors or darker colors um, because the turquoise is a little bright, um, at least on one of them. But the maroon also looks very, very, um, it looks very pretty with the, with Amelia's blue eyes and um, the blue text, it really stands out. So they're both really pretty um, and eye-catching. Um, the women's cut, we, I am pricing at $30. That one was um, a little bit cheaper to make. So um, $12.55 from each sale of that shirt will go, will be the proceeds. Um, it costs $17.45 to make. So it says you'll make 13, or I'm sorry, you'll make $12.55 per sale when it's priced at $30. So the women's cut is 30 and the, um, the other one, the, um, it, I mean, it's unisex. They're both technically unisex, but um, you may have heard Drew say that he would not order the one that I got. Um, it is very feminine. It's the waist comes in and then it also goes really low, but it, stays kind of tight around your hips. And so um, it just looks a lot, it, I mean, like it looks like it's made for women. So um, if you are, and you can actually even kind of see the difference when, when looking at the two directly, like side by side, um, one is a little boxier. I'm gonna see if we've got any more dark colors for the women's cut. <laughs> oh, we were gonna start the kitty stream. That's right. Okay. I don't wanna forget that either. Ooh, dry gauze. Good idea, Aaron. For average view duration, you guys, um, it was at 14 minutes. Now we're at 19.52. So day one, our average view duration was uh, at day's end, it was 17.55, I think, or 17.51. And day two, we were at 25 and 50, I think, 25, 50 something. And so today we're already at 1952. So thank you guys for hanging in there with us. We appreciate you spending your Saturday with us. Like I said yesterday, you can mute us. We won't be offended or turn us on in the other room. You don't have to look at us either. Um, if it will keep, if it will keep it running and let those ads go. Let them ads go. I keep saying more than one ingestion is using the primary URL, and I don't know why. What? It says that we're launching the stream basically from two outputs, and I don't know why. And I don't know, like, is that causing a problem? That we are watching it? Who is that stream status for? Just yeah, it's a close that one. Oh, yeah. It's probably counting that so the actual, you know, stream. Well, you have to be able to run it. I, I'm sure that what they are, what they intend this for you to be either on that stream. Oh, there's a computer on another. Yeah. I'm thinking you're going to use that on another computer. Yeah. So I close out of it when I'm not inserting ads. Yeah. We're at 53 likes. If you haven't, if you haven't given it a like, give it a like. We're at 19 minutes 51 seconds for an average view duration. That is really, really awesome when we're only three hours in. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, in fact, I'm gonna insert another ad. I know I just did. 
Laurel, what a wonderful idea. Absolutely. That's a wonderful idea. I will, I'll do it. She says, um, could you make a mug for those that are not t-shirt people? Oh, cool. So let me get out of the control panel so we're not screwing up the stream. Ooh, is there a, a, a mug like uh, yours and mine where the inside is like that greenish color? That would be dope. That would basically be the same mug. It's just whether or not they have it. I, the colors are so bright that I doubt it's like a turquoise. It's like a very, the colors are very like primary colors. Sort uh -huh. of. But I don't know. Look. Sometimes they have some new things, so we'll see. And actually, the mug will be perfect because you can do two images, one on front, one on the back. And so that's perfect. For Amelia's Army. For Amelia's Army, yeah. All right. Drink where? Amelia's Caffeinated Army. Ooh, now they do have something new. They have this black mug. A black, and now they had a white glossy mug. Now they have a black glossy mug. Oh. Should we do a white and a black and then do... The handle color, or you know, let's not do the handle color because so the images are different. Yeah, I like the black one. Do a black and a, a white. I'd say just do a, the black, and if you can do the interior color. Well, uh, that's not an option, that's just oh. a mug style. It's one mug style. Dang. That's not something that I can I just add. Like how the other one is a black mug. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna design the white glossy mug. No. What's the website for Fourth Wall? Fourthwall.com. Spelled out. Yeah. Uh, you're right. Let me actually. I can go into our photoshopping app, or and um, not photoshop, but the editing editing app, and I can adjust these images to be the correct size for a mug. Oh, that's, oh, that's dark green, isn't it? Never mind. On the video. Is that? Or is it? Ooh, that one's good. I mean, I can put it on there. Like, you can put the images on, like, with you know, as much stuff as we want, and yeah. people, if they want. That mug, then at least then it's available for. Yeah, right. Ooh, sorry. Yeah. What happened? 
and to our uh, ibuprofen. Um, I think it's on our bathroom counter. I think it's on our bathroom counter. Um, otherwise, I think we took it on our trip. Lisa, Lisa Crane, if you are listening, I have not forgotten about your pillow. Don't you worry. I have not forgotten about it. If, if we just get slammed with stuff. Every time I turn on, there's something that's going on. So um, I have not forgotten about it. I'm actually thinking about it right now as I'm doing all this. I wanted to get an updated picture of Mocha. Or actually, I have my updated picture of Mocha. I need to get one of Vienna. Floral. Oh, this is going to be so cute. And the mug is only seven nine. Oh no, I just heard a loud crash and kids shout. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Laurel, for that idea. I don't know why I didn't think of mugs, because mugs is like kind of how we started with the merch, because we're such coffee drinkers. Okay, so for the mugs, it comes in two sizes. The 11 ounce, um, $14.05 will be the proceeds. Um, the 11 ounce um, is like the standard 11 ounce is this size. Um, that one's going to be $22 and $14 of that is going to go to the Adkins. And then the 15 ounce, which is that bigger size mug, um, that one is going to be, it's $25 and $15 and five cents is going to go to the Adkins. So that one is published. Um, now, next I'm going to do um, a black coffee mug. That was a white one. I'm going to do a black one and then I'm going to do um, one like these with the, the color inside. They're green, as a Roger looked up their green, and it's a really pretty, um, it's kind of like a dark turquoise, actually. So um, I hope you guys check it out. There's a chair right here that I could be using.
the black coffee mug costs one dollar more to make and so that one i'm gonna price at uh one dollar more as well so that they're getting still 14 and 15 dollars um in proceeds the white one costs seven dollars 95 cents to make and the black one costs eight dollars 95 cents to make um and then the Two different sizes. The 15 ounce is a couple dollars more. And so um, the mugs um, are about $15 to, or the, I'm sorry, the mugs cost, um, they start at $22 and about 15 of that is going to the Atkins. And so it's a good item to purchase if you wanted something to like kind of as like a token from, from all of this um, as a way to remember, um, you know, how you contributed and helped them. Um, and then most of the, per, most of your purchase is going to the Atkins, um, $15 out of, out of that 32. So the mugs are a really good item to purchase for fundraising. All right, so we've got the two t-shirts and we've got um, a white mug and a black mug. I'm going to make the, the mug that has the different colors on the inside. I'm going to make that one next. They added a couple of colors to the, this rainbow that they offer the this this mug where you can choose all these different colors for the inside. Before it was, they only really had like primary colors. It was like red, orange, yellow, and a bright green, a um, dark blue, and black. And now they have a really pretty um, pink, and they have um, a bright. It looks like they divided the greens in two. They have this really nice um, dark turquoise. It's called dark green, but it's um, it's a really bright dark green, and so it comes out kind of turquoise. It's super pretty. Um, and they have golden yellow now, too. So they did that just in time for Amelia's mug.
Ooh, this white is going to be so pretty. Okay, so I have the um, the mug that has the colored handle. I have it set to default with that, um, with the green color that the Adkins family has themed for her. you've been looking at the mugs at all, I'm just letting you know that I, um, I'm re I'm switching the sides that the pictures are on. So that way the, the pink, the picture where she has her eyes closed and she's laying on the pink bed and it says Amelia's army, that one will be on the front. And then the, the darker one where it says one bark, one fight, um, that'll be on the back. So I'm just going through each each mug and swapping them. Pictures are around.
You want to see how good that mug looks? Which one? The one that you, you showed me. The dark green one? <laughs> yeah. I'm switching those pictures to... And so they came out, so I have to go in and change it anyway. Oh. But I wanted the people to be on the... Drinking side. Uh -huh. This is most people's drinking side, right? Right, yeah. Okay, so but this is the one I have it set so that the green is. Oh, is what? Oh dang! It does look good. That look good. It does look good. And the pink is really cool. Oh, dang! That is a cute mug. Nice. We have to make our orders. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to put a link to our merch shop in the description of these fundraising live streams so that you guys can have a, it's easier to find because I know YouTube's not very consistent with where they have the shop links. Um, I do put a link to our shop in every um, listing, but, um, um, but it is kind of buried. And so with this having um, fundraising items on it, I'll, I will bring that um, a little bit here. Um, I'm going to, all right, so I've got three mugs up there. There's the white one, the black one, and then with the colored handle and the interior. And I have, um, for the t-shirts and the mugs, I have them default, defaulted to the, um, to Amelia's color. If you wanted to get your, um, product in, in her turquoise color. I think they turned out really cute. You guys will have to let me know what you think. I hope you guys like them.
It was a fantastic idea. Thank you um, for the t-shirt idea and for the mug idea as well, Laurel. Thank you. All right, I want a link to the shop. All right, I have the link in the description to Amelia's Army t-shirts and mugs. Um, and when you open it up, the, um, darn the, it's difficult to bring the camera over here. I'm going to take a photo so you guys can see. So when you pull up our shop, um, this is what you will see. You will see the um, three mugs. The first is the white one. Um, the second is the black one. They both come in, or I'm sorry, all three of them come in 11 ounces and 15 ounces. Um, and then the one on um, this one right here is the one with the colors that you can pick. You can see the green there. Um, and then the t-shirts. You just have to scroll down a little bit and you will see the t-shirts. Um, you can kind of see them side by side, but the darker one is a little boxier. That's the one that fits um, uh, boxier or bigger figures a little bit better. Um, the lighter one, and you can see that it's a little bit longer. Like for me, it comes down to like down past my hips and it kind of hugs around my hips and my butt. It covers my butt. Um, that helps explain how long it is. Um, but it's very comfortable. The size I wear is a size small too. Um, uh, it's a little small in me right now because I need to lose about five pounds, but um, usually it fits me very well. So, and I usually wear a size small to a medium, depending on the brand. So if that helps at all. Um, oh, I just got a warning here. It's easier to see when I'm sitting the computer, but in 15 seconds, ads are going to run for some viewers.
So I found another t-shirt to make um, that we can probably price a little less. It doesn't have good color. That's all right, we'll just make it in maroon and it will be a less expensive one that is a little bit more affordable that um, there'll be more proceeds and so we can price it lower. This works out well because now this is kind of provides a t-shirt option for anybody who doesn't like the um for anyone who doesn't like the um the turquoise um or the light blues and greens that we added to the other ones um this one is um provides more color options that are more neutral, not as bright. And we'll be able to price the t-shirt a little bit lower. I found that um, that pretty basic t-shirt, you know, mm -hmm. that black one you have, mm -hmm. um, the gray scale. Um, <laughs> it's not the main color. Um, it's color option. And they don't have the turquoise, but I thought it actually because oh, that it's... green one right in the middle. Oh, sorry. The signs, um, the... That's what you thought. Um, it does not have a turquoise. This is bright green. This is not... But um, I thought with those ones being <clears throat> turquoise, um, <clears throat> and those ones are, I was able to price the women's one at about $30, and that way all the t-shirts, um, even including the XL ones, are still going to be at least $15 oh. to the Atkins and proceeds, pricing the women's at 30 and the men's at 35 And so, but this one... I was thinking, um, even though there's not a good turquoise, it can be, it has more earth tones, more natural colors that maybe are more appropriate for like the work setting. Ah. Um, and it's also a little bit more affordable. Oh, okay. And so like there's more funding going to the Adkins and we can also make it a little less expensive for our, for our viewers. Very nice. Yeah. Like this is, um, brown savanna the other like these earth tone colors look really pretty they do and i mean the font is still in her color right yeah it's still in her, in her and so like especially with the earth tones where it has a very neutral background mm -hmm. it looks really nice it, ooh, <laughs> that purple one is loud <laughs> the pink one is loud yeah that pink one is loud oh and that cool uh, but i do i like it i like it a lot 
This one's pretty. It's military green. It's so Ooh, cool. that is nice. That one. Okay, so, there you go, that one. Yeah, that's what are you doing, parents? So the one is men's, the other is women's, and I'll call this one unisex. That's very, oh, very nice. Pretty in the middle. I dig it. Yeah, we have one dedicated woman's one, one dedicated male one, and a unisex. I like those. So we can price this one at twenty five dollars and fifteen seventy five will go to the Atkins. Wow. Yeah. Pricing that at twenty bucks. Twenty five. Oh, Thank <sighs> Well, I forgot about these. These nice uh, white towels with the single blue stripe that we ordered. Oh, yeah, the, the ones we got in bulk. Yes, the ones we got in bulk. <laughs> Yay, this is awesome. Do you want to send Chris a link to our shop so you can show him? I mean, I'm sure they might be sleeping right now, but they've got stuff yeah. going on. Yeah. Oh my goodness, we already have mug orders. Thank you guys. I didn't, I must have gotten a notification on my phone. Oh, I don't have a notification. I usually get notifications. Thank you, Laurel, for ordering some of our mugs. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. $58 is going to go to Amelia yeah. from that order. Wow. Thank you so much, Laurel. Thanks. I can't wait to show Chris how much you guys are how much you guys are supporting them.
what's nice about the way the um, our merch shop is it has um, three items in a row and so you can compare the three t-shirts all are next to each other oh nice and so you can so people can see all of the Amelia's army stuff yeah they can see the the, the shape of the ah uh, yeah they don't have to it's not like they have to compare it's them. like yeah it's side by side yeah, it's, it's right side by side so you can see which ones they like the best Based on shape and the colors and blah 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 blah. blah, 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 blah. Thank you guys for the um, the Amelia's Army merch idea. Yeah. Because right now proceeds are already at let's see, fifteen dollars plus forty two dollars. We're already at a hundred dollars of Dang. merch shop. Wow. Thank you guys. Holy cow! That's yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, and Drew? Um, memories of wildlife and nature. Yes, I'm going to um, put a children's size um, together. Um, I will do that in just a just a few minutes. Um, but thank you for the recommendation about the holistic dental. We try to be, especially with our moms and pregnancies, we try to be as natural as possible. We don't want, we don't like exposing them to anything um, that we don't have to, um, whether we're pregnant or not, but especially with pregnant. I'm happy I'll scoot that over with all you guys on there. No, no, no. Oh, Daisy, you're okay. Don't look at me. Oh. You dead? Thank <laughs> you. 
doggies. I want to do this. Cheer up, boy.
Thank you, Mike and Susie, for getting some coffee mugs and a couple more t-shirts. Thank you so much. And you guys sent a nice donation, a generous donation for them. Thank you. I know that um, the Atkins family is going to feel so very loved. Thank you, Kathy, for your order. Thank you so much, you guys. Kathy ordered a um, another T-shirt from us. Thank you, Kathy. Can't wait to share this with Chris. We haven't told them that we were doing this with such a, a like last-minute idea from you guys, and we just kind of threw it all together. And so. Um, I know that the, the Adkins family was busy today with um, some various activities. And so I don't think they're on. And so they don't know that we're doing this yet. I'll be right back, folks. I wanted to update Drew on all of our Amelia's Army stuff.
There you are. Okay. So I want to let you know that um, the Amelia's Army merch is going well. Um, Laurel was, um, you know, Laurel, right. our channel member, yeah, yeah. suggested the mugs, and she immediately placed an order for several mugs. Oh. And then Mike and Susie um, placed another order for um, mugs. Oh. They, are, they ordered the t-shirts when I first put those up, and then oh. they ordered the mugs when I put those up, and then they ordered a couple more t-shirts. Oh, jeez. Um, I think that they liked the, um, the uh, I think that they liked the, it doesn't have to be the turquoise. Ah. So that was a good idea. No, no, no. That was a good idea. Yeah, so, um, and then Kathy placed an order, she got a t-shirt. Yeah, so um, the Verusha shop is really raising some money. Yay! It's awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Like, it's already matched what we probably will do with YouTube. Oh my god. I was hoping, like, YouTube can fundraise my stream. But um, I also didn't think I wasn't considering all the rallying. Yeah. Do, so. And Chris doesn't know that we're doing a bunch of things, so he's going to be a really awesome surprise. Yeah. So, how much are we raised so far? How much? $190. Jeez Louise. Yeah, all proceeds. We'll send them a message right now. Yeah. It's perfectly this whole. Oh, nice. Yeah. I can't wait to finish already. The man, I wish we had done that from the start. I know, but you know, we're still it's gonna be a nice move. So we're still we're gonna keep doing this. On the children's sizes, I have the mock up all created. Let me see if maybe it has gone through yet. It was just being a little weird about loading the mock up. It's freezing on this page.
Yes, Boa. The one who looks me up like this, he, he puts me all the way up, and, it, and I get scared. I feel like he's going to put me through the roof. Well, he's, he'll be safe with you. Phil knows how to be safe. Oh, this children's shirt is going to be so perfect. We got the turquoise color, like, perfect. Okay, so um, the children's shirt, size 2T to 7, is going to be $32, and it comes in size 2T, 3T, 4T, 5T, 6, 6X, and 7. Um, it's a perfect turquoise color. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to add other colors, but designing this one is a little bit different than the others. Um, and then there's going to be another children's that is... Um, like size 10, 12, 14, 16. Yeah, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So it's like an adolescent slash teenage. The uh, turquoise on the children's tees is perfect. Oh.
Okay, and now I have the um, bigger use. So the use size is eight to 20. That one is $35 um, and $15 of that is going toward, um, is going to be as proceeds. Where I'm looking for. The children's shirts. Oh, dang, those are awesome. So, one is a Bella size, it goes from 2T to size 7, and then this one is an 8 to 20. Nice. Very nice. Doesn't show the back, but for, oh, I'm sorry, right um, the ones. It has the same back as the adult sizes, just nice. so that all of you guys know. Um, so, if you look at, at um, the men's cut um, version of this shirt has the closest coloring to the, the, the youth one, um, which is like a very accurate turquoise. Uh, but the same back that you see on that shirt, if you're looking for like a comparison to see how the youth will look, will look the back is um, nearly identical. So, um, you're trying to compare. Unfortunately, they on the on the youth ones they don't um, they don't show the backs. Usually, if you're like shopping for a teenager, like for May, I don't get her the youth youth size. Um, I just get her a women's small, um, just because you know depending on your kids. But um, you know some kids they 
you know, are growing up. They uh, mature a lot younger now. And so sometimes the um, youth doesn't always work out as well as it does for like Bella's age. Because for her, size six is perfect. Um, but for our teenagers, we we have to pretty much just order them when, um, men's and women's sizes. Um, which is a good thing because actually the women's t-shirt is less expensive than the youth t-shirt. So um, youth doesn't necessarily mean it's less expensive either. We've priced everything so that um, at least $15 from each item is going to the Adkins. So I hope that that's an easier way for you to, um, to kind of see how, how things are priced and why they're priced where they're at. Um, size options in the mugs. Um, some of them might have a dollar under or a dollar over, like fourteen oh five or sixteen oh five. But um, all of the products that we have, we priced so that the proceeds are at least fifteen dollars to the Adkins. So, um, like the thirty-five dollar items um, for the for the youth tees, they use a different brand, and the editing was a little bit different. So I think that might be have something to do with it. Um, cause they were a little pricier than we're used to seeing. Um, and then we have one t-shirt that has more earth tones. So if you don't really care for the turquoise, um, there's still the turquoise in the text in the font that's on the image, but you can, um, it might perhaps match your, your clothing that you have, um, a little bit better. Um, that way we try to give you a little bit of some options. Um, and then the mugs are, come in white, black, and then they have the colored interior with the handle. Um, their prices vary just a tiny bit between $22 and $26. Um, the black mug was, it's like, it's an extra dollar um, for the black. So we added a dollar to that price. Um, and then same with the colored interior, that one was an extra dollar. So we added a dollar to its price. So I don't know why it says $25. I'm going to edit that. That should be 23. Oh, wait, I see. That's the uh, 15 ounce. Let me change it so the 11 ounce. Oh, I see. I have it 25 so that way. Um, $16 goes to, okay, I'm gonna leave that one because I, that one was, it was priced like $3 more. That's why I had it higher. Thank you everybody for being here. Hi there, Michael Martin. I hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping by. We are doing a fundraiser for Amelia. All the ad revenue that we generate from the live stream um, anywhere on our channel. If you decide that now is the time that you want to binge all of our puppy videos, um, all the ad revenue that we are generating right now for um, we're doing like a marathon. So the first day was when um, we first shared this news about Amelia. Um, if we, we were originally just going to do that one day, which is a little silly because it would have been like $13. So, um, but we have, we logged or we clocked like $19, I think for the first day. So but we're doing a marathon of um, live streams where we are donating all the revenue and we are, um, in order to maximize revenue, we are aggressively inserting ads um, and asking viewers to watch at least half of some of the shorter ads. So, like, if you get a 30-second ad, um, we'll, get, uh, we'll generate regular ad revenue if you watch at least half of it. So, if you watch 15 seconds of a 30-second ad, um, if you just stick it out for the one um, or half of one, um, that will help out tremendously. So. 
We appreciate you being here. Just you being here helps because um, it uh, more ads get shown, more revenue we generate. And so it costs nothing to you and helps the Adkins a ton. Oh man, and so last we checked the um, the average view duration, we brought it up. You guys had brought it up to um, 19 minutes and our average view duration right now is at 22 minutes. That's awesome for a puppy live stream at four and a half hours. We're usually at about eight minutes right now. What'd you do? Did you ruin her plant? Yeah. Are you you're joking? Did you put it in direct sunlight? It's supposed to be personal. That's not what our no, You did ruin it? Why did you touch I it? Know, I was taking such a good care of it. Oh. Oh, that hurts a lot. <laughs> that stings. Uh, it was... So you hung it up and then it burned, it crashed oh. and burned. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, it crashed and broke. But I think I saved the point. Yeah, but the beautiful know, hanging thing I'm was half find, of it. I know, I'm gonna find another hanging thing, okay? I feel terrible. You should feel terrible. <laughs> May, I, we got that for May for her birthday, and know. she's so, well, I, hey, oh, let me finish. I'm just trying to guilt you some more. Um, <laughs> she's, um, she has been, like, talking about it, reminding me about Haiti. Hey, like, she, out of all the things that I've gotten for her, you know, we, we got her a birthday miss. Um, we've gotten her plants before, and this particular one, like, you see these cactuses over here. Um, this particular plant, she has just really taken a lightning. No, no. <laughs> You. No, I'm dying. Good, good. You should. Well, um, I didn't think that it would get enough sunlight there. So the little ticket said indirect light. Didn't it say indirect? Oh, um, I was thinking you had the door like to the right. And that would be an explanation today. But it's like, it's well. I had it over here. Yeah, it's so section and we could even go and you can look at ones that um, have slightly different pots. We've got a really great community. Thank you to everybody who is watching, who has us on right now. Um, I know for a lot of people, it's not a work day with it being a Saturday. Um, so you're probably forced to look at us a little more than if you were just turning the stream on prior to work. So we appreciate you a lot. 
this is hopefully this is going to make a huge difference for for Amelia's family. Dad always stuck you back in here. I don't know why, Jamie. What's if you're getting good? Okay, Bella? Was that play cry?
I wish I wasn't so picky. Yeah, I can appreciate that feeling. Are you picky too? Yeah. All of a sudden, it's like literally three. Right, it's only out of the big computer. Is it something we choose because? It would be a lot easier for us to not be so picky. We don't enjoy life being as picky as we are. We don't enjoy not liking most foods and drinks. Exactly. Can I have this? Um, I mean, I'd say, yeah, it's probably too difficult to split. We have two hands of hot ones, so the hot ones will go harder. Well, we've got the, um, we've got the two things of Pringles, and then we have the bags of chips. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Well, we've got the chips, chips were right? Yeah. Okay.
Oh. Lithium ion batteries ion. Lithium ion. What's that? Amazon ion. Amazon. Amazon ion. Lithium ion. Amazon ion. Alright, dog. I know. Give us. Yeah, blue balls over here. Yeah, yeah, blue balls. And then blue balls. Like, it's like some ice cubes, and then from the little field. Dare you. Jesus. Just perfect. Pick this up, and then one ice cube after it in, and. Oh, it's a double towel. I call it. Oh. Yay! Smart. Smart. Should be the very same one. Um, these can get very expensive. Yeah. Um, just a little fifteen dollar set of those too. So we need to probably fix it up. Um, it has an adapter for iPhone and a micro.
Did you finish your ice cubes already? Man, Myra, you are really getting thick. Holy shnikes, you don't have a waist anymore. Oh, and all you guys are off the bed. So I'll just put it over. There we go. Yes, you are all good doggies. Oh my goodness, that belly is getting so big.
I don't put those in there. All the drinks, put them in the uh, no in the pantry. Just put them on the floor, yeah. All the other things that are in there. I said you guys clean that out though. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, to uh, organize the actual shelving.
Easy. Does anybody like the V8s? What's that? Is it okay now I'll drink them? Okay. Yeah. 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 Whoa. <laughs> that is, I never look for people. 
It's a thing out. Is it just a block of time? It's not a block, it's a bag. Uh, no, it's, it's fine outside of the fridge. Um, I can put it in the pantry. The pantry? It says actually to not refrigerate it until you open it. Hmm. Yes, Doc. What? What did you say? Yes, Doc. Yes, 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 <laughs> Uh, yes. I only got one of those lumps. New England clam chowder. Chowder, chowder, it's chowder. Mind if I take this one to that bathroom? That's fine. Change our ab studies from every six minutes to you know, aggressive. We did better with um, because the I compared the live stream, the CPM from the day that we did aggressive to you know, the next That's mm -hmm. the twenty dollars and the process from aggressive from aggressive eighteen dollars and eight cents on um Yes, I think that's fine. Um, nice and cheap. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you guys. Nice and cheap claimed it. No, nobody is claiming. Being very careful, we're not doing claims. Because that's just not how this is going to work. I was looking at the Pringle, or looking at the Pringle, trying to figure out how we have to split them up. Because I don't think it's going to be difficult to split two small canisters of Pringles by five children. Yeah. And so, we're gonna figure something out, but nobody's had anything yet, so don't worry. I'll take my claim. Well. Come on, bro. Lighten up. Well, it's 
Because the other thing too is that we are also inserting it manually yesterday. And so that should have increased the CPM or caused it anyway. Um, so every six minutes you're probably working out less frequent than the person. Thank you to everybody who is who has um, sitting through the ads. Who has ordered uh, Amelia's Army T-shirts and mugs. Thank you so much. We appreciate your support, and I can't wait to tell the admins about um, the whole Amelia's Army yeah. line that you guys helped create. So thank you again to yeah, everybody who has ordered. Sure. I, I sent them a message. Hey, baby, here. I sent them a message. Oh, the, um, so far? Yeah, I did. Yes, 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 So, what is, um, what is like a supervisor? Uh huh. Well, yeah, the, the woman who like manages the ABC is basically child protection. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> it wasn't unexpected that she did that. Uh, the, the dance. The dance. She has a really bad reputation. With the kids there, like nobody likes her at all. But since she's the supervisor, nobody can have any, uh, anyone else. Like, unless they quit, you can't get another person. That sucks. Yeah. Sorry. That sucks. Not better. Uh, 
Guys, where are all the Pringles? There's only one can in all of them. The, there's more Pringles in the, in the uh, pantry. Uh, not eat the whole can of Pringles. That's a lot of Pringles. I'm going to bring them up because I want to start making dinner. Share, share with people, too. But Dad wants you to bring them up because you can start making dinner. This is a cartoon web show. What? Is that?
What do you use the baby oil on the dog? Or what do you use it for? Huh? What do you use the baby oil for? The what for? The baby oil. Uh, for their their ears. Mm. To clean their ears. Well, it leaves me off the, the gunk.
там. Put your headphones or something. What's that? What's that? So I don't have Go grab one. I'm just watching. I know, but you can do that with uh, the stream on.
Bicycle car, a long jump on only my time. Smells like the man. Okay. How to bake a cake? What? I what? Make... Oh, there's even a recipe in here for baking a cake inside this thing. What? Yo. Cakes? No, like sugar, flour, what? Butter, milk. No. I wonder if you could do that. You could probably also do bread. Let's see here. How to make a cake? Recipes. And rolled sushi. Sharashi sushi. Mixed rice, mixed brown rice, avocado, and tuna bowl. Ooh. You should have pulled this out earlier. What? Oh, this rice cooker? Yeah. Sweet rice cooked with something beans. Sponge cake. There you go. Sponge cake. Cheesecake. Cheesecake? Yeah, a cheesecake. Inside of that? Yes, inside of us. Dude. 
We could make so much cheesecake. We have a ton oh, of yeah, cheese in there. Oh, that's a special. Boards. What did you do? Where do you uh, the under non stick coating can peel off of damage. Please take extra special care to prevent damage to the inner cooking pan. Keep it very Steaming basket.
You want me to, to uh, make some of the tracks? Man, oh man, oh man. for a little Oh, there it is. Hmm. I, I know, but we have two of the one cups, and I'm wondering where this guy went to. I'm wondering if he disappeared too. Not what he belongs.
Hey, Dad. Problem. What? Got a problem. Uh, uh, break the break the head? Yeah, break the head. Oh, my God. What have you done? What's that happened before? What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Is it like you want to keep it warm for the yep. ice? Extend it, keep it in motion.
guess that's some cheese. Uh, uh, Reggiano. Very, very good for you. My personal favorite is. No, um, Great. Great.
Oh, cool. Mm. Oh, sweet. That's actually super. Yeah. Super yeah. yeah. Huh? Oh, she's like my my girlfriend was like, you should be a housekeeper. I consider that. Yeah, very well. Changing the sounds. How great is this? Measure the rest accurately.
Ew. Oh, in the toilet? That was a doggy turd that I cleaned up. Sorry, monkey. Measuring out some rice. That's fine. Don't touch. What? I'm just making. You're saying James won't be Stop playing in the water, boss. Thank you. Why are you doing these packs? Because that's five pounds of rice in each one. Why five pounds? Because it's the easiest thing in the world. Don't throw it. Stop. Can no. I have hold five pounds? No, don't throw it. Stop. I have hold five pounds. Wait, yes, you can get five pounds. But then you stop playing the rice. You don't bring this bag. Race school squat, let go now.
So, how much rice do you want me to make? Huh? How much rice do you want me to make? Daddy. Oh, no. Juice a lemon.
That's <laughs> correct.
Yeah. Oh. I don't like this and I don't like this. Either way.
Stop playing in the sink, Bella. I just came off the wall! Stop. Annabella. What? Stop. Stop. Try your hands off. That's right here, ball. Here. Try your hands off. Six, girl. You just love making messes, don't you? Oh, stop. Stop. Hey, are you hungry? Are you hungry, Shnella? Shnella, are you hungry?
going on over here? What is this? What is this business? Hmm? What's going on now? What? Are you showing up? Drop it. No. Drop it.
Uh, where was it? Oh my god.
Is it right stone? Huh? Is it right stone? Four more minutes. Oh. I know, baby. Food's almost ready. Hello. These are edamame. Edamame? Edamame. Ouch. Hot.
Move, dogs. Out, out.
Do you want uh, the beans on your rice? You had no for I'm gonna drink it. No, I didn't. Yeah, this one's yours right here with the hot dog. The cats are so stupid. We're climbing on the box and trying to get it up on my shoulder. Are those um Malima beans? Malima beans? Yeah, I was close. No, they're not mine. Are uh, mine. Oh, it's mommy. Oh, this Dr. Pepper is good. Oh, it's sneezing. Hey, Dad, oh, sorry, I forgot to. Okay, uh, Carter, that's yours. Who's this? That's yours. Uh, that is uh, Maze. This is mine. Yeah, that's yours. Can, Can I have more uh, Ed Lama juice? Yeah, that was more. Okay. Do you want extras? Mm -hmm. Those are really good. Can you have the rest? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I need one more because I ate one. No, rather one. Like, I'm down to an extra. Rather, I just gave you a spoonful. Here. All right, you want one? There you go. There. Yeah. Oh, Who needs forks?
That's very sweet of you, Bella. Yeah, these pretzels are so good. Over there. Yeah. Over there. Yeah. Oh, I don't like 
I used to like my mom salt lamp all the time. It gave me. Remember when I used to like mom salt salt lamp? <laughs> Tacos. Ha <laughs> ha 
Are you okay, Bradley? <laughs>
Bradley, Bradley, you know that if Bella is suggesting you raise something, but... I said that it not wasn't rare because serious. she was so close. She was just Bella, though. Should I feel that this came off, of course? Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Remember when he did? <laughs> Remember when it starts over, though? Stop. Or you have those little, um, your little dreams. Yeah, the little scissors. Have, yep. Remember when you had when you found this picture back here? Was there an is there an already open shower cream pack? What? Oh no, 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 no. There's no picture behind that. Guys, it was a picture of her uncle. Guys, you want to go? Guys. Oh. I'm going to play this way. Yeah. I guess the shower cream on these. Yeah. I thought we had one of them. Uh, I'm to throw up. Let's go. I landed it. Yeah. I landed it. I think you throw up on it upstairs. Dad, I landed it. I landed it. I landed it. I landed it. Why not? Thank <laughs> you. 
We got our microphones, you guys. So, oops. Um, tomorrow we will use these to see if they help the audio. It is. It is. I'm I'm getting my water bottle right now. I'll be down in a second. Hi there, Boris. If you're talking about me, my name is Elizabeth. Boris. <laughs> Boris. Boris Greca. Greca. Thank you for being here, Boris. Oh, Very nice to meet you, Boris. The revenue from yesterday was uh, $9.90 for the live stream, but the other streams, um, the one that was like $11 is now at $15, and the one that was at $4 is at like $7. So they're all adding up. Tomorrow at the beginning of the stream, um, I'm going to go through all of that to show you guys the figures for what but we've raised so far. But it's not adding up nearly as fast as, as uh, merch. As, yeah, as merch, just fourth wall. Yeah, we've. Um, you guys are awesome for buying merch so quickly. Yeah, the uh, merch idea you guys had is wonderful and it's doing a swell job of raising money. It is doing well. Yeah, it's at like um, $250 raised right now for proceeds alone. Thank you, Doodle. What? Oh, I thought it was. Uh, it is, 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 well, no, it's a wish there with. It's a nourishing hand sanitizer. So shea butter and vanilla. Yeah. It's like opening my pores and killing all the bad cells. Cells. cells are overrated. I'm learning about them in science, in science in biology, uh, DNA, all of this. We have to learn every little. Drew, I have a stack of folded pants right next to my laundry basket. They're in the basket, I believe. Yeah, it's right next to my laundry basket. It's not a stack of folded pants. They're on top, they're sitting on um, to keep them off of like. The unbacking floor, I had them sitting on that Amazon wrapping bag, that purple one. Oh, crap. I did, I did put them in it. And, uh, so the, there was only like two or three pairs. Like, uh, yeah, that was three or four, but um, they were all folded up all nice. I couldn't get Mona to let go of me. <laughs> You can't get Mona to let go.
Watch her. She's still dead in your one eye. Watch how hard she does. Squeeze her. See her mouth? Like her. She's doing the whole thing. The whole side of her face. Can you make your face go like that? Yeah. Here. Let's take it up to your room and then we'll get your water bottle. Mom, there was chips. Mom, do you know what time was it? Bird eight. Bird eight. Bird eight. Bird eight. Well, the snack is bigger than her dinner now.
Okay. Easy. All right. You're not going to. And then the noise gets really noodle. You ready, Mocha?
Morning. Keep it quiet. We're turning off the aircon. Got it?